Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was a three-year-old boy when he began to imitate the musical compositions of his eight-year-old sister, Maria Anna, that she played on the harpsichord. When Wolfgang's father, Leopold, heard his young son playing the harpsichord, he was astounded by the boy's memory and musicality. The harpsichord is an early version of the piano. When the keys were pressed, the strings of the harpsichord were plucked instead of struck like the strings of a piano today. Leopold himself was a court violinist and concertmaster in the employ of the Archbishop of Salzburg. He was a talented musician. Leopold was also an ambitious father and he taught Wolfgang and Maria Anna the basic elements of music at a very early age. Wolfgang's musical instruction started early when he was four years old. His father began his formal training in music, and by the age of five, Wolfgang was composing his own pieces. At this same age, Wolfgang was also teaching himself to play the violin. Leopold Mozart was immensely proud of his children's musical accomplishments. He decided to leave their home in Salzburg, Austria, and take Maria Anna and Wolfgang on a concert tour. So in 1762, Leopold took his children to Munich, or now Germany, where they performed for the elect Elector Maximilian Joseph of Germany. Shortly after the trip to Germany, the entire Mozart family, including Wolfgang and Ma Maria Anna's mother, set off for Vienna, where the children played the piano for the Emperor Francis I and the Empress Maria Theresa at the Palace of Schönbrunn. The Mozart children soon became known as the Wonder Children. Wolfgang's performances were especially remarkable. Not only did his musical ability captivate all who heard him, but his joyous and unspoiled spirit affected all those around him. Wolfgang and Anna Maria played for the King and Queen at the Versailles Palace outside of Paris before going on to London where they played for the King and Queen of England. There, Wolfgang played King George III's organ and accompanied Queen Charlotte in song. While visiting England, eight-year-old Wolfgang composed several sonatas for violin and harpsichord and a number of symphonies. Later, Wolfgang toured Italy and continued to amaze the audiences there. While in Rome, Wolfgang had the opportunity to hear the Sistine Chapel Choir sing Miserere during Holy Week. Young Mozart loved the beautiful music so much that when he returned home, he wrote the entire work on paper from memory. When Wolfgang returned to Salzburg, he was appointed to serve as concertmaster and work with his father under the Archbishop of Salzburg. Both Wolfgang and Leopold worked exclusively for the Archbishop, writing and composing new pieces of music especially for him. Mozart found this work dull and much preferred to write music from his own inspirations. Much against his father's will, young Mozart contrived to have himself dismissed from the archbishop's employ in 1781. Mozart then went to Vienna where he met Constance Weber, the daughter of his landlord, and they married in 1782. Mozart's musical productivity was very impressive but he was often not paid sufficiently for his work. Mozart and Constance spent most of their married life in poverty. During this time, Mozart wrote three of his great operas, Don Giovanni, The Magic Flute, and The Marriage of Figaro. Audiences were enthusiastic about his operas, but Mozart made little money from any of these popular works. He had to borrow money from his friends in order to support his family, his wife Constance, and their two children but he never had enough money to repay his debts. While Mozart was finishing the Magic Flute in 1791, he received a mysterious private commission to compose a requiem mass, music for someone who had died. The mysterious stranger who requested the requiem promised to pay well for it. There are some stories that the mysterious visitor was a fellow musician who was jealous of Mozart's talents. This jealous musician followed Mozart and sought to frighten him and tried to give him grief. Some people believe that writing the Requiem is what killed Mozart, 
Some claim that Mozart was so filled with grief, grief over his circumstances and this strange visitor that composing the great, great Requiem is what led to his untimely death. In 1984, a movie was made about Mozart's life called Amadeus. In the movie, the mysterious visitor that haunts Mozart is thought to be Antonio Salieri. Resenting Mozart for both his sinful lifestyle and his undeniable talent, the highly religious Salieri is gradually consumed by his jealousy and becomes obsessed with Mozart's downfall, leading to a devious scheme that has dire con consequences for both men. This was a summary taken from Google. Mozart never finished the piece, though now the Requiem is one of his most famous works. Mozart died on December 5, 1791, while trying to finish composing the work as his friends rehearsed the score in his room. In 1991, to commemorate the 200th anniversary of Mozart's death, cities around the world from Salzburg, the place of Mozart's birth, to New York at Lincoln Center where Mozart's 373 orchestral works, 227 songs, 98 sacred and dramatic pieces, and much else is performed. Honored and celebrated this most gifted and expressive of classical composers. While Mozart was only 35 years old when he died in Vienna, the music he created remains timeless.